Ukraine is taking part in the Venice Banali Festival despite the war with Russia. The exhibition, This is Ukraine, Defending Freedom, is currently presented jointly with the participation of the Viktor Pinchuk Foundation in partnership with the Office of the President of Ukraine and the Ministry of Culture and Information Policy of Ukraine. Natalia Lushenko saw the works. The leading exhibition of the world of modern art, the Venice Biennale, speaks about Ukraine in an unprecedented way. The exhibition, This is Ukraine, Defending Freedom, is presented right in the centre of the city. It's hard not to notice the huge yellow and blue banners at the School of Arts. Today, the building has become a centre of Ukrainian art. The building is one of the oldest in Venice, and for the first time, the works about Ukraine and the war waged by Russia are presented in such a majestic building. The work that immediately catches the eye is about our fighters in territorial defence. The artist Lesia Khomenko painted these huge four-metre canvases in just a few weeks. She says she was driven by rage and anger against the enemy. One of the lieutenants is her husband, also an artist, who went to defend Ukraine in the ranks of territorial defence. Both the IT specialist, the lawyer and the artist have now joined the military, choosing new duties for themselves for the sake of security in their country. The artist painted these huge canvases in an incredibly short time. In just a couple of weeks, I created all the works on pure rage and on love. The exhibition, Defending Freedom, now coexists with the participation of the Viktor Pinchuk Foundation, the president of Ukraine, and the Ministry of Culture and Information Policy of Ukraine. The exhibition of the winners of the Future Generation Art Prize competition held by the Pinchuk Art Centre was to be presented here. However, on February the 24th, as soon as Russia invaded Ukraine, businessman Viktor Pinchuk set a new task to open a Ukrainian exhibition, but with completely new works on the war and the role of art as an important front of confrontation. War has different fronts. First of all, main military, but also political, diplomatic, economical, informational, but one of the very important cultural front. And uh, we decided that here in Venice, in the, during the main forum of art in the world, in the great city, we have to show how Ukraine fight for freedom. And uh, when we ask our friends, our artists, Ukrainian and international, are you ready to fight in this cultural front? Answer was immediately, yes. And, uh, you know, for us, very important here to show Ukraine our fight for which values we are fighting with contemporary art, but also very important to show how deep, how rich our history, our culture. Uh, as collector, I know what inspire artists the most, love and tragedy. And I know that Ukrainian war will inspire you, artists, for may maybe for centuries ahead, but we don't need your inspiration in the hundred years, we need your inspiration now because you have capacity to inspire people who is decision makers, who can save life, lives of Ukrainians, who can send weapon to Ukraine now, today. Works made during the war by Ukrainian artists or foreign artists such as Damien Hirst, Takashi Murakami, Marina Abramovich are exhibited on two floors. All of them are about the war. The second part is the cultural heritage of our country. The paintings of Maria Primachenko, Tetiana Yablonska, an icon of the 17th century, evacuated from Ukraine, are exhibited here. Everything that speaks of our rich cultural past. All this indicates that Ukrainians are able to think critically and create in the most difficult times. Because showing art today is about survival. It's as much about survival as fighting is, because if we can't create, if we can't think, we're already losing. And to show Ukraine that is thinking, that is creating, even in the midst of war, is absolutely essential.
The president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, also addressed the guests at the opening, and the first lady also sent a message. Olena Zelenska illustrated her address with photos of museums and architectural monuments destroyed by the Russian invaders, and how Ukraine now protects architectural monuments from attacks. Among the guests of honor is 97-year-old Anastasia Gulai, a former prisoner of the Auschwitz and Bergen-Belsen concentration camps. She thought she would never experience this cruelty again. But Ukrainian confrontation with the Russian army is as impressive as it is international support. It is very gratifying that other countries have supported so much from the bottom of their hearts, opened the door to refugees and helped as much as they could. In my opinion, this has never happened. The exhibition, This is Ukraine, Defending Freedom, will last until August the 7th and it will impress foreign visitors with our ability to create art even during the war. Natalia Lutsenko, Facti Programme, ECTV, United News.